Well, I don't know if anybody's talked about the water tower, but of course that is the biggest story that probably in my tenure. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a Sunday morning that the water tower was, it was small capacity water tower, but it was an elevated tower. So it was, uh, uh, I'd say 100, 120 feet tall, uh, located in the alley behind the businesses on downtown. Um, because it was small capacity, the city decided we had built new towers or new tanks south of town, and we decided that the capacity that the water that it held wasn't worth the expense of maintaining the tank. Uh, so they decided to take it down, and they hired a contractor from Ohio that had tons of experience. That's all he did was take down water tanks all over the country. And he was fortunately well insured and fortunately well bonded, because when he took the water tower down, they actually hooked a wrecker to it, they cut the legs out on one side and hinged the front legs so that it would just teeter like a hinge and fall in a straight line. Uh, the wrecker they used originally was not big enough and it teetered it a couple times without being able to pull it over. When they got the bigger wrecker hooked onto it, it had already weakened one of the legs and when they pulled it twisted and sent the water tower right across Crescent, Sterling Drug and at least one or two other downtown businesses. Uh, we made national news that night. We were on NBC News, Nightly News, and several others, and uh, it didn't destroy any of the buildings. It's a testament to the construction of those buildings because not one of them collapsed. Uh, did cause power outages all over town. It ripped power lines down. Uh, the windows of the stores blew out on both sides of the street just from the impact. Uh, it actually blew glass from one side of the street and knocked windows out on the opposite side. And keep in mind, we had probably 500 people downtown to watch this. A lot of them were on the main street where this blowing glass and falling electric lines occurred. So we had people scattering in all directions. And it was kind of a scary time trying to keep order because everybody was trying to get out of the way of falling power lines and broken glass. And uh, we only had so many people to manage all this, but uh, we maintained and nobody got hurt. And, about a week later, the cranes came in, the cranes were able to lift it off, and eventually all the stores were, were repaired, but it was quite a story. I was actually standing in the parking lot when the water tower fell. That's always been a big uh, thing that hit Prairie Grove. Of course, the water tower did not fall where they wanted it to. It fell on top of Crescents. Uh, I have pictures. I can show you that. Uh, it was a huge deal at the time. Uh, of course, you know, when they were going to have it fall, it was gonna fall right in the parking lot and it was not gonna be a big deal, but for whatever reason, it fell right on top of Crescent's, made a mess. And we had a group that usually met for coffee a Sunday morning and our coffee group, and we went over and went back to the back parking lot and were observing what was going on. And then I left and went to church. And uh, let's see, was it Lee Terry or Finest Smith, anyway, that came and got me out of church and hauled me downtown and and I never will forget this here there was it was in July and we had straw hats and hats on display in the front when there was hats all over the sidewalk and out in the street I mean the impact of that blew out the front windows and blew all that merchandise out and uh, it uh, the crescent was a uh, actually three levels. You had the main level, you had an upper level, and then you had a basement level, and it uh, it came into that upper upper level and uh, did a lot of damage. Uh, at, at, you know, we had a water tower damage sale, I guess, but there wasn't any water in the way. It wasn't any water in the tower, even though it did a lot of damage, but it uh, the first night, the night after that happened, it came one heck of a rain. So we did have we did have some water damage, but not not from the water tower itself. But uh, my wife swears to this day that's when my gray hair started, though, and and uh, we were able to uh, get it back uh, reconstructed and 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 back and and back in business. And, uh, and thanks to a lot of help from John Everett, who was my attorney, we were able to work with the insurance company and and. Uh, a lot of folks thought I came out well on that, but you never come out ahead on something like that. You you really really don't. But anyway, that was a, uh, and that that thing made national news. I got clippings, newspaper clippings from as far away as Alaska, and people people told it. So it was a, 
it was an incident, an unusual incident, and uh, yeah, very, you know, very uh, traumatic. I was I was working in Lincoln the day that the water tower fell. That one one of the guys that I knew uh, and worked with, I, he I worked on the same hay crew with him. Uh, he was an old man that had quite a bit of experience around. When they started to take the water tower down, they took some of the some of the bolts loose at the bottom, and they were planning for the water tower to fall one direction. This old man told them, that "You're not going to you're not going to make it fall where you want it. You're going to have to take the bolts loose on the other side." Well, they told him that they knew what they were doing, that uh, for him to stand back and watch. Well, he stood back and watched, and the water tower fell. It fell right across <laughs> Crescent Department Store. Okay, first of all, the city fathers meant to keep that quiet. They wasn't going to tell people too much about that. And uh, it was on Sunday morning. And I remember I wasn't going to church that morning. I had some cows, I had no place to rent. I was fixing to go out and check those cows. And all of a sudden the power went off. So I circled down, there was a big crowd gathered down there. And uh, I drove down by and the water tower was laying across the Crescent Department store. You know, the big old tower. And so I drove up and I asked what was going on. And they told me. And, they sent a guy by the name of Roy Easter who done logging. Told us, said, you don't, if, you, if you take them bolts out there or move something, that's going to fall the wrong way. And they told Roy, you just, we know what we're doing, you know. And the old man, Jim Smith, had his old wrecker there. He was fixing to tie on that thing. And it's a good thing he didn't know telling where that like wrecker was stopped at. But they said after the dust settled and everybody got their breath, they heard old Roy say, I told you so, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but uh, that was... They didn't keep that quiet very long. But. It was quite a deal in town, though, I guarantee you that. Bill Ramsey, you know, he ruined all his uh, shoes and boots and jeans and suits, I guess. They, they used to sell a lot of suits uh, in that Crescent store. But people from all around came in there to buy suits. Our son was six. And Murphy had taken Josh downtown to watch the water tower uh, be leveled. Uh, it's uh, water tower is very close to my husband's place of business, which we didn't own it at the time, but we we did later. And uh, so Murphy kind of had a vested interest in in being there when the water tower fell to see that it wasn't going to land on on the shop where he worked and. Josh, I believe, was quite interested in the whole operation. It, it didn't go as planned, and I, I was at home, had just gotten out of the shower and was getting ready to blow dry my hair when the power went off. And so I went downtown. When the power didn't come back on immediately, I went downtown to see what was going on. And it, it was a mess. It was... Um, there was nothing funny about it. It was, you know, it really, um, well, it made national news, I guess, because <laughs> it's not often that people pull a water tower over on, on a whole row of city build, uh, city buildings. You know, it was, <laughs> it, it was quite a spectacle. I guess maybe that's a good word to define it. Was it was a spectacle, and it got us some publicity, and not necessarily the kind that you want to get.